We all know eval is dangerous, but what if I told you there is another function? It works just like eval, executes string as code, but there is a twist. No one is even talking about it. There is not a single post and not a single warning for the developers. So today, we will take a look at a dangerous twin to eval function which was hiding in the plain sight for years. But before we start, if you want to learn hacking, then check out my course in the description. So let's get started with this. We all are familiar with eval, as I've said. Eval, as you can see, takes a string and it turns that into a JavaScript code and executes that. Meaning that if I was to put here an alert one, it will work perfectly and this alert one will be executed here. If I just refresh the page, you can see, there we go. We see an alert one. And literally a simple Google search, is eval bad? You can see eval is an evil function. If you, if somehow user input ends up here, and it could because sometimes developers just misuse this function but as we're growing like as we're like this all is becoming more mainstream developers are learning about this and they're fixing their issues and not implementing eval as necessarily because eval is used for example to turn the string into an integer sometimes or even a dictionary a string and dictionary into a valid dictionary and so on but there is another eval function there's another strange function which is called set timeout and uh, I'm not quite certain if you are familiar with this function, but let me show you how this function even works. For example, you type set timeout, set interval actually does the exact same thing. So set timeout and it takes a handler, which is a function. So you parse in here the function, for example, like this. And after you parse in the function, you pass the time within like when you want this function to be executed. For example, this function right over here will be executed after one second and alert one will be called. To prove that, I can refresh the page and as you can see, after one second, we see one pop up. But now, as I've said, this is similar to eval. So what if I just put here a string and type alert one? Will this work? Well, yes, of course. And this is what bothers me. Nobody has talked about this. Set timeout and set interval can execute string as function, as code, as JavaScript code. It's literally exactly the same as eval. I'm assuming it only takes a function and not like literally you can't like create a variable here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe let's try to create a variable here. I'm assuming you cannot do this, but if you could, then it would have been a big problem. So let's just see this. And there we go. I is not defined, but you can still, I think, do, for example, alert document cookie, which would be very dangerous. Let's see if just document.cookie would work. And yeah, it will 100% work. So you can use this to perform XSS attacks, which is something that most developers and especially JavaScript developers, also hackers are familiar with. So what's going on here? Well, if you take a look at the set timeout over here at the media and web docs from the developer.mozilla.org, you can find this in the description. You can see how the syntax works. It takes a function and takes a delay. Just have I just as I explained, but nobody, nowhere in here, as long as I've read it through, nowhere in here does it say that it can take a string. Nowhere, as you can see, even in the examples, it's taking a function and executing this as a function. There is no point for set timeout to accept a string. There is absolutely no point in it. This is so unnecessary. For example, let me show you why I think this is unnecessary. If you take a look at C, also there is a Q micro task, which is another interesting function. Let me show you what this function does. Q micro task is under the window, obviously, because it's available. And if you put Q micro task here, you can put, for example, a function called alert one. I think this will work though, or it takes it. No, it will work. But if I encapsulate this as a string, and if I hit refresh, you can see here, fail to execute micro Q micro task on a window. Parameter one is not of type function. This should be also implemented here at the set timeout because it's very dangerous what people might do is my only idea for this is that people might implement it something like this because you might not know how to parse arguments in here as a function call so you might think oh what if i was to just for example i don't know call alert and then put like this um testing variable, for example, you know, developers might do this because they are not familiar that, I mean, if they do this, probably they're familiar with that code execution. It's a bad example, but it's still unnecessary. It's very unnecessary that strings can be accepted here because user input might accidentally find its way here due to obfuscation or something. User input could maybe possibly find its way here. And it's better for you to know that you can execute code just like eval than rather you don't. 
because it's very easy to mess some mess stuff up and even the best companies even the best developers sometimes mess it up and you as a hacker sometimes you need to look for these functions and see if they have been you know implemented correctly because user input if it just finds it away somehow here then you got yourself an xss same goes for the set interval actually set interval and set timeout are both evil functions as well because they both can execute code here in the examples let's take a look examples nowhere does it say that it can execute code there is not even a single example no not even a single example that it can actually execute code and not even example of strings and even in the description it doesn't say if set timeout is called the delay value is not a number okay blah 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 it's just giving you some information which is i guess useful uh, for example, the following, okay, so the for, if the current, okay, if it's the string, uh, I don't know, but it will turn this, it's, it will turn this, so even if you put here a string as a hundred, it will turn that into a number, wow, that's interesting, but the, again, this here is just only example of a function call, and let me show you, I think set interval works similarly to what this actually does, so I think we can just call alert one, I think we're good to go, let's see this refresh uh yeah there we go set interval also works similarly to the set timeout only this is called more times than set timeout is only called one so the idea from this video is to take that even if you're a cybersecurity researcher you need to take a look at these functions now because they're evil i don't know the point of this probably there's even more i don't know if there's even more there's like set immediate what's even this it's deprecated but it's deprecated so i don't know set immediate and it takes a function parameter similar to what set timeout does so let's just see if we can still i don't know call alert one for some reason uh set immediate nope set immediate is not defined though okay i think it's because it's deprecated in the point again from this video is to take be careful because these functions are very evil and you don't really want them to be evil do you <laughs> i don't really understand why has it been like this and even if i do a google search like look i've done right now is set timeout xss and there's only probably like one here are like an article talking about this nope nobody's even talking about this so the point again from take to take from this video is be careful with your code because again this these are very evil functions and i can guarantee that if you're not watching my channel you probably didn't even know about this if you did please write down in the comments i would really like the story to hear how you find out about these two evil functions thank you so much for watching stay safe stay responsible and as always peace